ourselves one more time. <laughs> Ghanaian culture is so beautiful and so rich and wonderful that sometimes I cannot fathom a world or Ghana with the same people eating the same food or speaking the same language. Diversity is very vital and we celebrate it here on Ghana's Most Beautiful. Welcome to another week, another Sunday of entertainment and education right here on Ghana's Most Beautiful. Please do it one more time for Anita and I. <laughs> Thank you. Anita. Anita Cookie, it's always, always a joy to see you on another Sunday as a lovely ladies and lead us on a full circle from here to the finish of the show. Now, let me ask you, Cookie, which of the other magnificent cultures would you choose if you could exchange your tribe? I've always wanted to be an Ashanti. Number say from a Frimpoma. Ooh. Frimpoma. That's always been my wish. Cookie Frimpoma. Mm. I get it. <laughs> now, every week on the show grows more heated and interesting as the numbers decrease and the possibility of winning the grand prize becomes more apparent. Last week, a Siedua, Amwini, and Afra outperformed and amused the judges to win the night. We had to sadly say goodbye to Kesewa and Owusuwa. The question still remains, who wins what and who leaves today? Anyway, like I said in the beginning, I've always wanted to be an Ashanti with the name Frimpoma. I am just fascinated by the thri tribe and their culture. Now our judges, they've taken their seats looking all beautiful and they are ready to render their judgments. I appreciate the efforts of our contestants also. Now today's guest judge reminds me, Anita, of when I was all the way in the university. Let's take a look at this. Dr. Awomana Asiedu is a senior lecturer and currently the acting director of the School of Performing Arts of the University of Ghana, Legon. She was also an assistant to the associate director of African Humanities Fellowship Program for Ghana, Uganda, Tanzania and Nigeria where she was responsible for administering fellowships and organizing international meetings and workshops for existing and potential fellows. She was nominated a member of the panel of judges for the Wole Soyinka Prize for African Literature in 2012. She was also re-elected a member of the Executive Committee of the International Federation of Theatre Research. She is a member of several boards, committees, and a contributing editor of Theatre Research International, the Journal of the International Federation of Theatre Research. Let's welcome our guest judge, Dr. Awomana Asiedu. Deserve that round of applause, but tonight there's just one question on my mind. I'm very curious, judges. The key question today is if you could switch cultures, which one would you love to be? Cookie has told us what she wants to you know, switch to, but I'm starting with our guest judge, Doctor. Well, you look absolutely beautiful, but my question what would you want to switch to be? Well, that's something I've never really thought about, but maybe I'd like to be a northerner. Ooh. <laughs> I'll give you Fatima then. <laughs> but you're welcome, Dr. Awo. And thank you so much for being here with us tonight. It's your first time here. What are you expecting from our ladies as they switch regions? Well, a lot of excitement, obviously. It's already very exciting in the studio. So more excitement. More excitement we will be giving you. And then to our beautiful jig body. Good evening. Once again, we're here to do this. Which tribe are you switching to or which region? Dr. Awo stole my region because I was going to say I was going to go to the north as well. <laughs> so today the north is winning. Um, <clears throat> but I, I'm in, excited about the frenzy and the electricity in the studio. And of course, the two of you looking super, super amazing. Please Thank clap you. for them. Woo. They, uh, now we are down to eight. So is anybody's game. So tonight, I think for me, what I want to see is how it all comes together. We are at that stage now where everything is going to come together. And that's what I'm expecting to see. How do they put the true Ghana's beauty, Africa's pride, how do they represent it together? That's my excitement. 
beautifully said, Jigbori, uh, judge as well. And then let me move over to our very beautiful black beauty. Should I, should I, should I just judge? Oh. Yeah, say it, say it for her. Looking at Jeanette Cry. Would you love to be an Ewe? Oh, no, Charlie, <laughs> no. My mom is Ewe, my, my dad is Ga, my grandma is Dangbe. No, but wait, the president wants to marry from the Volta region. I bet I'm already married and I'm, I'm an oh. Ewe. So Ooh. I would have loved to be a Fanti. Oh! Just because of the way, the attitude with which they speak their language, I would love to be a Fanti. So having said that, huh? What I'm enjoying about this year's show is, from my perspective, we are discovering unconventional beauty. Because previously, it was pretty obvious when you saw the girls. But this time, it's not so obvious. So we are challenged to go for something beyond beauty, the optical beauty. So for me, I'm looking for a beautiful brain. I'm looking for them to have fun. I'm looking for them to improve every step. Last week, we said it was about consistency. No, for me, this week, it, you are just as good as how you are on the stage right now. So please, they should bring their own game, and let's have fun. And by the way, that intro got me dancing. <laughs> Give it up one more time for the ladies and for the judges as well. And as Chigwadi said, eight down, how many more to go? Hey, we started with 16 ladies. Eight have gone home. How many more to go? Yeah. <laughs> We've got eight more to go, but please make sure to keep them in the competition. Don't let your favorite be the one to miss the chance to become Ghana's most beautiful 2022. You still need to keep voting. Star 713. Okay, now you can also download the TV3 reality app on any phone at all that you have. Everyone has a smartphone, so make sure that you are keeping your 60% and the judges are also keeping their 40. Anita, we'll take a break. Now, when we come back, we'll delve into action. This is still GMB 2022. The leader of Asafo clan in Manyakobo, I call upon you ancestors to join this festival. I am Agbete, the leader of Asafo clan in Manyakobo. I call upon you ancestors to join this festival. I am Agbete, the leader of Asafo clan in Manyakobo. I called upon you ancestors to join this festival. Go, 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 go. Limeli, Ihanya Manye, the people of Manya Kobo celebrate no, my festival. Nga means millet, yem means eating. We have held this festival from time immemorial since 1944 to foster tribal unity and to commemorate the end of famine that hits our land. While Manya Kobo celebrates Mayem, Jilo Kobo celebrates Kloyosiklem, Ebri, Ekopong, Ekrapim, Manfi, all celebrate Odra Festival. I am a proud representative of our industrious women and Kobolan. I come immaculately, adorned in my resplendent and elegant regalia. I such rights with these beautiful ornamental beads. Gorgeous, right? Exactly. The Kobolan is famous for bead making. We have a bead market every Wednesday and Saturday. Beads are body adornment that enhances the beauty of a woman. It connects us to our ethnicity and it gives us some sense of pride and belonging to one's culture and heritage. You can wear them around your neck. 
your arms, your knees, your ankles, and most romantically, your waist. Where are men alone, adore and love so dearly? No, the Eastern region, where I hail from, is undoubtedly an excellent choice for a getaway and tourist site, such as Ebrim Mountain, Booty Falls, Shy Hills, and many more. Kwawista is the famous and most popular festival in the Eastern region of Ghana which attracts the largest influx of tourists. See, you can come to Kwewo, but wait, and come during Easter, eh? And when you come, just request for some shows, fufu, and palm nut soup with some snails and akrantinam. So, niame patre me. Sa, pepe, pepe. See, you cannot come to Kwewo land and deny yourself authentic music and dance. Listen to this. Indeed, we have rich and diverse cultures. Thank you so much, Nahema, representing the people of the Eastern Region yeah, this evening. She opened the what show for us tonight. A round of applause for Na Ahema. <laughs> Janet, you were singing along. I was looking at you. Yes, you asked How me did the she question. Fit? <laughs> My grandmom is Ada. So nakile, nakile, ipi nakile, jejo, nakile, mobawasi. I love that. Nahima, so last week was not um, the best of the weeks for you. So I was actually waiting for a comeback story from Na Ahima. And you did come back very, very well. Your commitment alone is engaging. And there is no doubt that you fully immersed yourself in the culture of the region that you just represented. And I think you did them wonderfully well. Well done. Well done, Ahima. A round of applause for her. That's what GMB is about. You fall off once, you rise up seven times. Please give it up for her. Now, she's originally from the Savannah region, but tonight she's switching roles. <laughs> from the central region actually from the central region but she's switching to savannah this evening ladies and gentlemen let go land sing and dance in celebration as the new overlord ascends the throne in the presence of all the chiefs and people gathered here we spot carry to the following rituals will you be a good king to your people carry will you neglect them in their time of need carry mm. will you pay heed to good counsel carry okay until you go to the farm, may your reign be peaceful. <laughs> what you just witnessed is the enskiment of Yemora. The paramount chief of Gonja. Ah, 
I am Kabupera. The second in command to Bupera. The chief who oversees the escapement. Upon my arrival, the skin which the king sits on and the white cloth are being prepared as he is confined for protection. If I'm a Dimini, ah. Mm -hmm. Well, all of these things are being prepared as the king assumes his position. While his hair is being shaved as a form of transformation. There are five tribes that are eligible to become kings. One is Pebi, Tuwole, Bole, Kosogo, and Wasipe. value our chiefs and kings. So there are three things we look out for. That is the skin he sits on, the staff he holds, and the crown on his head. While well, the white cloth you saw, which is adorned on him, calls for a new beginning. I gave him a new sandals. That is a sign of authority. One thing you must pay attention to is the presence of the Jaliba. They signal attention to what is happening here and as a form of acceptance to the gathering through their praises and accolades. If you can remember, I asked the overlord some questions which he responded, Kari, meaning I will not. The pride. That he will pay to his people. The pride of the central well, region, Esiedua. Give it up for Esiedua. <laughs> Representing the Savannah region this evening. Associate Professor Awo Mana, I welcome you one more time to Ghana's Most Beautiful 2022. It's your turn for your remarks on Esiedua's performance. Thank you very much for that education. Um, you have taught us a lot about chieftaincy in the Savannah region. Thank you very much. Give it out. Treat though about your costuming and real transformation. Uh, it's, it's quite creative. You are totally male this evening. Please well give it up. Well give it up for Esiedua. Give it up for Esiedua. Well, we've seen two of them. Six more to go. We'll take a break. When we come back, Aiko and Taya will be here. From the break, this is GMB 2022, and tonight it's all about the ladies switching regions and showing how diverse they can be. Now we're going to the northern region, and the one taking us there is Aiko from the OT region. She will be telling us how shea butter is refined in the northern region. So that, that she has, of course, is all for Aiko. Let's welcome her. Can be that one. My name is Wampine, which means gift from God in Dagbani. If I make you say, I'm an ayoyo to eat. Mm, mm, mm. I'm Vangne Dagbon Tembinima. I am a daughter of the northern region, home to women of symmetrical beauty, skin without scar or blemish, and food so healthy that people come from far and near just to have a taste. The secret lies in the liquid gold found in the core of the share tree, our share butter. Now, 75% of our population is into agriculturally based livelihoods and share butter processing has the potential to boost the GDP fortunes of Ghana and also has the potential to revive our economy following post-COVID and the Russia-Ukraine war. Growing up in a family of share buttering, I learned the nature of the share trees, the absolute beauty of them, never planted, always seeming to exist before time itself, but always fruiting between June and August. Now, share butchering is very arduous work, and so we normally form little groups of women, teaching our children and encouraging unity and teamwork. Tonight, we are going to be making some share butter. Now, before share butter can be extracted, the nuts first need to be crushed and then roasted, and then they are pounded like this. Cry, 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 jing, jing. Cry, 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 jing, jing. Now, the more you pound the nuts, they become a very fine paste. 
Now this paste is put into a bowl, mixed with water, and then we knead it continuously with our arms swinging like this in a circular motion. The more you knead the butter, the more the butter comes to the surface of the water. We then scoop it, put it to a boil, scoop it again, and then the final product is put in a calabash. Thank you, thank you. Now, finally, this is the final product that gets to our final consumer. It is used to retain moisture in the skin and in the hair, and it's also used in the pharmaceutical industry. And it tastes so sweet that we also use it to cook in our food. Now, I duff my hat to the pioneers of Ghanaian share buttering that have made the share butter industry valued both locally and internationally. Ah, oh, this has been such a fulfilling day's work. After we work, you can find me under the share tree with my friends, picking and playing games and dancing dances such as the Torah dance, an ancient Dagomba dance. Enjoy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. share butter, do remember that it was made with love from Northern Ghana. Mm. Wow. 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 For a second, I thought Aiko is originally from the Northern region. Jibadi, do you think same? Aiko. I, have, I haven't had, I, I think I spoke to you maybe in week one or two but I've quietly been watching you evolve and you are a powerhouse. Whenever you speak, you carry a certain power. Whenever you perform, you bring chills down our spine. Today you educated, you entertained, and you emotionally connected. Aiko, don't leave this here you have something special. Congratulations. That was a very emotional one from Jibodi. That should tell you that when the performance hits, they give it to us that same way. But like we keep saying every time, you at home, you have 60% and the judges have 40%. And so you can keep Aiko in the competition if she's your favorite. And remember tonight, it's all about the switch episode and our contestants are moving from the original regions to other regions and show us what they can do. And now from Aiko, we're moving to Teya, who is originally from the Northern region. But tonight she says she's taken us to the voter region to show us how when you're getting married it is done and also the famous Hogbe Chocho Festival. With a round of applause, let's welcome Teya. <laughs> Should I receive them? Medakui. You know you're my beautiful daughter and I love you so much. My daughter, should I accept them? Medakui. My daughter, I love you, my daughter. Should I accept them? Togbi Medakui. Holodio! Yantama Jete Vinyalo! Yantama Jete Vinyalo! Mamma, my dog be nami. Nia kwai nia mama jo mavi ajo. Me a ways of I yes no dada me. Ah, I've waited long for this day. I still remember how my now husband, after informing his parents about his intentions to marry me, also in, 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 informed both paternal and maternal aunties as customs demands. His aunties came to see my parents about their intentions of marrying me. 
about their intentions of marrying me, just as custom demands. And you heard me right, their intentions. Because here in the Volta region, we believe that marriages are not only between a man and a woman, but both families. They came with some drinks which we call wohoho. As happy as my parents were, they had to conduct a two-week-long investigation into the family of my soon-to-be husband to be sure that I wasn't getting married into a bad family or to someone with some bad character or some illness. After when they got their information, they relayed it back to my soon-to-be family that they should go ahead with the marriage rights. In appreciation, they delivered a pot of palm wine, which we call Akbedaha. Immediately, they went ahead to pay the wagaha, which is the bride price. And it consisted of two bottles of local gin. And today was fixed for my marriage. My marriage is taking place in the house of our family head as tradition demands. Today, my husband provided a trunk filled with clothes, a big pot of palm wine, two bottles of schnapps, and a mat to prove that he could take very good care of me. My parents asked, if they should accept the Swata Biano, my no would have meant I'm no longer interested in the marriage. But of course, I wanted to be married to my sweetheart. So I said yes. Libations were poured and the girls were asked to bless our marriage. We were advised by both parents and now we are married. <laughs> Akoto, you came to my wedding. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. But while you are here, please visit the Willy Waterfalls, which is the tallest waterfall in all of West Africa. Port Prisonstein and Mount Afaja. You heard me right. Not Mountain Afaja, though, because though in LA means mountain. So it's wrong to say Mountain Afaja, mountain. It should also make it a point to witness our festivals like Hogbe Chocho, Chadududza, and Amu Festival. Speaking of festivals, please, I invite you all to come back this November as we celebrate our Hogba Chocho Festival in the first week of November to commemorate our migration from my ancient world city, Moshe, to our current settlement. Ati Janet, Ati Gwadi, you came! Thank you so much. Would you prefer some apple and our bitadi or abolo? Don't worry, I'll make sure it is packaged and delivered to you. <sighs> Let's go back to the celebration. Africa, mato ma konya lolo. Africa, mato ma konya lolo. to do all the bobobo and all of that. Dr. Wu, what are your thoughts on Taya's performance? Taya, you went to my hometown. <laughs> Thank you. You look very lovely. Thank you. Yeah, but, and you presented the marriage ceremony very well. Thank you. But uh, I was just wondering why the whisk, though. Uh, I'm wondering if a bride would carry a whisk. But overall, your performance was very engaging. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Very engaging performance. And if Taya is your favorite contestant, make sure you are doing the needful by voting for her to keep her in the competition. But before we go on this quick commercial break, I have a message for you. Wednesday is a holiday, so if you're looking for somewhere to spend your time, it is at the 3FM Afro Connect 2022, happening at a Gold Coast restaurant from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. If you want to see all your favorite personalities from TV3 and 3FM, make your way there. This is still GMB 2022. We're taking a quick commercial break. When we come back, there's more. Do stay. Always, it's still GMB 2022. And tonight, contestants are switching roles. Yes, where I say a very big thank you to all our family and friends on social media. Tonight, Zion Felix and GH Kweku are in the house. Please give it up for them. 
They are helping push the GMB agenda on Instagram and all other platforms. And of course, our friends on Twitter are also here. Going to be taking a few messages. Please keep the messages coming. Hashtag is GMB2022. Hashtag GMB2022. We'll make sure to read as many messages as we can before we wrap up on the show this evening. Well, first one is from Abdul Jaliu. And he says, Taya, hashtag Taya, all the way to the crown. Extremely beautiful performance from here. And Eight Effect says, Aiko, most eloquent, can say star performer since a lot are yet to perform. And then a Lady Possible says, just tipping Amweni and Honam for the crown. Sika official says, Na Ahima represents Eastern Region tonight as she displays the culture of Krobolan, famous for beat making and all that. Please make sure that you keep your messages coming. Yaro, she, she says, Aiko, oh God, a very great performance from her. She never ever disappoints. Keep your messages coming in. Gelly GA says, Welcome once again to our beauty pageantry. Tonight's edition is very, very nice. Join me and the hashtag is GMB2022. Um, Yoni says, Aiko makes poetry look very beautiful. Simply brilliant. Hashtag one more time, GMB2022. Please propagate the gospel. Moving on, she's originally from the Volta region. But tonight, she says she's coming to Accra. Nearby, you call me fuel. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on the stage, Hona. Festival, which brings together great towns of the land from all over the world to hoot at hunger and to socialize. Coming from the boxing hub of Ghana, Bukum, where coming from the boxing hub of Ghana, Bukum, coming from the boxing hub of Ghana, Bukum, where grandma taught me about the Gasamai sign or the Gasimbo sign. She said, I should respect, and that she taught me about the Atobi sign, which is the tiny fish. She said, do not look down on anyone, irrespective of how the person looks like. I believe that we, the people of the Gadangbe, are very good, and we are hospitable as well, which is why we have you all in my land. And you can also attest to our delicious food, Komi Kekinan. That is gakenke with fish. As a unique and culturally inclined people, we boast of the fact that we are good with everything that has to do with culture, and we also have boldness and strength, which we exhibit in our culture, and especially with our favorites, with our favorites, with our favorites, especially with our favorite boxing. With our favorite sports, boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, let's rehearse some boxing. Are you ready? Champions, we bet them. Oh, you are a dog. 
Renowned from the Volta region, doing it for the people of the Garland where we are this evening. Shit it. I really want you to lift your head up high, girl. It's not easy to do that. And I want to thank the studio audience for supporting her now through a very, very, very difficult time. You did very well. But as you know me, I will tell you the truth, my girl. I will tell you the truth. It's a tough competition. Like I said, you are just as good as your last performance. And today there was a lot of faltering here and there. I don't know what got to you, but lady, if you manage to sail through tonight, next time, I know you got the capabilities. Do much, much better, okay? Do much, much better. Please give it up for Honam who represented the Garland this evening. Now, moving on, she is originally from the Savannah region, but tonight she's traveling all the way to the Shanti region, bringing us their culture, their food, their heritage, and of course, the meaning of some names. Let's welcome Haria. No, no, no. I'm paying you for Ghana, my mama. My name is Nana Akosu Yasika, Akosu Yapapepi, Akosu Yahuofe, and I am from the Oyoko clan in the Ashanti region. Now, you know, if you see me adorn in this beautiful ornament, don't be surprised because I am from a region where gold is our authority. Now, when you follow baby, say, it's your door and your core in the moon. For relaxation purpose, you can visit my capital, Ashanti. You can visit my capital, Kumasi, the Menshia Palace, and the Ochia Mountains. Now, when you for simple baby say, Obi no edroma or for, which means one don't take in medication for the sick. So, we the Ashantis can also boast of our talking drum, the Atupan. That is played during our festive occasion like the Aquadai Festival. And yeah, and yeah, and yeah, it baffles me when I hear people say we the Ashantis are all knowing. And you say you try your home. That is why the current holder of the GMB crown, Safuwa Huofe, Safuwa Notewa, is from my region. Even our traditional, even our native. <laughs> yeah, no. Mommy has a picture. When you visit my capital, Ashanti, when you visit my capital, Kumase, you will hear areas like Amulaka Junction, that is for the Voltarians. Fancy Newtown, that is for the Fancies, because we coexist with other ethnic groups. Even the ethnic groups can testify to our favorite food. Fufuni and Bunebunu, Kwan, Samuan Kasamutsi, Asie, Namimi Kasabebre. My dressing won't allow me to exhibit my drumming skills, but I can also live without showing you our traditional dance. Obi fura na na say mamie, Obi fura na na say mamie, na na say ya di mai na na waniye. Hey bonya me, ema be kume maye. Hey bonya me, ema be kume maye. Asanti mi akoda, osa mountain koko, osa mountain bongo. Originally from Savannah, she represented the Ashanti region this evening. Jibodi, what sayest thou about Haria's performance? Miss Haria, I think that was a very good attempt to immerse yourself, and I loved the way you were able to immerse yourself and speak the language. I realized you were a little bit nervous at some point, so your diction and your faltering, but all together, you brought it well. So congratulations. congratulations. And keep it up. 
Congratulations to you, Haria. Keep it up. Please, a round of applause for Haria. She goes backstage. Now, please do remember that at least one contestant is going home tonight. And also remember that five minutes after the last performance on stage, we shut down voting. So it's still open. Make sure that you keep your votes coming in. Star 713, star 13, hash at the name of your preferred contestants. The hashtag is still GMB2022. Keep your messages coming in. We'll be right back. Welcome back from the break. This is GMB2022. And like Cookie mentioned earlier, the hashtag is hashtag GMB2022. Now, on Twitter, definitely, we'll be doing some comments. Let me just get into it. And this one from Jake Sharp says, I am loving all the performances from the ladies. Hashtag GMB2022. Jay Prince says, these girls look amazing tonight. I agree with you, Jay. Eddie Blade, the humble hustler, says, Aiko had a great performance and Enchi Forster says Isidua nailed it. MC Mataya says Taya for the crown. Aji Uding. Aiko simply fantastic. Okay of course uh, if you want more pictures also uh, the TV3 Ghana page has a lot of that for you. Uh, okay this one says uh, GMB is heating up. Okay just heating up for Amwini's performance. Okay she'll be coming up shortly. Um, let's go up now. Hima was great tonight. Uh, she was not the only one, or she's the only one who understood the assignment. Okay. Um, okay, Jigwadi, we see you uh, on Twitter as well. Fame Bags, we see you. Lady Possible says, I did not see the Mags of Better Lux uh, next time. That is Zonam or Honam. Um, Ayos uh, says, Taya all the way. She really makes my night. And finally, Abdul Jalil says, all the contestants did amazingly beautiful and extremely exceptional in their own way. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Now, let's move on to our next contestant. And originally, she's from the Western North region, but tonight, she says, she's bringing us something from the OT region, and that is the Bomber 4 dance from the OT region. Let's welcome Afra. <laughs> My name is Opompo, a great hunter from the Krachi in Oti region. The dance we just observed is what we call the Pomofua dance, and it translates as the hunter's dance. It is a dance of greatness, a dance to display our freedom, and a dance of conquest. Many years ago, a beast tormented my people in Krachi. It's laid in the backyard and killed everyone that came across it. But, hmm. One day, upon my return from my usual hunting expeditions, I was attacked by this animal. Hey! Yes! I killed it! I beheaded it as an advance to my people that indeed I have killed the animal and they joined me in jubilation. While we were jubilating, my movements, the great hunter to have ever lived, were adopted as the bomb of four dance, which can only be found in the OT region. The dance is now performed to welcome great chiefs at traditional functions and also performed at funerals of great warriors and hunters like myself. The dance in itself is greatness and it means that we can be free. Yes, we are free. Milo Brara. Thank you. Afra representing the OT region. Jibodi, what do you think about Afra's performance? Afra, throughout the competition, you've always shown a lot of energy and consistency in where you, you are coming from. 
tonight was no different. Tonight was typical Afra. You were able to educate us. You brought in the energy. I was looking for more in terms of education, in terms of like how you communicate the education. I was looking for a bit more because you normally give us more. Tonight, that more didn't come, but you were still Afra. Keep it up. And once you stay in, I want to see Afra all the way. So once you're here next week, let me see that Afra that I've always seen. Keep it up. Congratulations. Congratulations, Afra, and if she's your favorite, keep watching for her to shot for the Star 713, Star 13 hash across all networks. Originally, or throughout the competition, she's represented the Eastern region, but tonight she says she's taken us to the Central region and she'll be telling us about the Upper Tampa dance. With a round of applause, let's welcome Amweni. Migrated from Techiman to Adena. We were always attacked in the night by a giant who ended up killing our men. But one day, Kwame Kumsun, a bold man, confronted this giant, leading to a serious fight. Someone had to intervene. Then an idea occurred to me to use my power as a woman. Then I packed my backside, making it protrude. With this, I started dancing towards the giant. Lo and behold, by my power as a woman, this time got distracted by my beauty and glorious dance moves. <laughs> Continuing dancing, I pushed him to the ground with my big backside, giving Kwame Nekumsen the opportunity to kill him. Hey! After this, the woman of Edina came out and started shouting, Hey, Edo Kakaba, Apa Tampo! Apatampo, apatampa, apata meaning separated, ampa truly coming together. Eno kakaba, you have truly separated the fight. Next time, eba we are here, ebesu be here. From this image, the fancy dance that involves tapping and clapping, known as apatampa. Whenever this dance is performed, know that it is now in remembrance of our victory from that giant who used to kill our men. This great and recreational dance. It's performed by my people, the people of Cape Coast and Elmina, during festivals and debates and many others. You have been sitting for too long. Please join me to do this dance. Get up, please. <laughs> okay, before that, Ewa, to perform this dance as a woman, all you have to do is to tie a piece of cloth around your chest to them, and make sure the backside is protruded. Ewa, the Now, just you do cook a cry, then you adorn yourself in beads. For the men, it is very easy. All you have to do is to tie a piece of cloth around your neck. Kola, my friend, kola, kola, kola. Simple. The instruments used in Upper Tampa include the Efritua, Armo, Gonifano, Castanets, Ebinsune, Adaka, which is the lead instrument. All the drama has to do is to put one part of the Adaka on his lap, the other on the ground, and strike various surfaces to produce melodious sounds. Miss it, I've not for too long. Sorry, I can't be in their sound. To do this dance, all you have to do is to tap your side of your thighs two times, clap your hands, and hit it against your chest. I had it. The ma. I had it. I had it. I had it. I'm the jealous. I am too serious. I am too serious. Remember the matter. I'm a time by day one. I want to bend it slightly. Now, mommy, delightful smiles. The ma. The ma.
This is that Batampa dance. Thank you. Thank you so much, I'm Winnie. And she got the judges dancing along. I'm coming to you, Prof. What are your thoughts on her performance? Prof, uh, can you turn on your microphone? Sorry. That was a very delightful performance. I like the way that you got many of us involved with what you were doing. Uh, just a slight disappointment about the power of the woman. I'm sure we have much more than just that. Yes. So, but then overall, I think it was a delightful performance. Thank you very much. Overall, it was a delightful performance. And if you want to keep on winning the competition, the short code is star 713 star 13 hash. Now, let me acknowledge the presence of some dignitaries before we go on a commercial break. And don't forget that five minutes later, after Mwini's performance, she is our last performer, we will be closing the voting lines. And so you have five minutes to vote for your favorite. Uh, tonight, we have here La Mache Goodlema Na from the Northern region with us, and Nana Kofi Efrishia from Sefiriosu in the Western North region. We have Kamil Alassana, Youth Chief of Gonja in Accra. Seydou Abdul Mum, a National Vice President of the Gonja Student. We have Mamfo Na as well from Gonja. And finally, Prophetess Mrs. Vera Ajudin also here with us. And also, uh, this Wednesday, the 21st of September, it's a holiday and 3FM is bringing something special your way. If you're looking for somewhere to hang out, have some good food, it is the 3FM Afro Connect happening at a Gold Coast restaurant from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. There'll be lots to eat and drink. And I'm looking forward to the 3FM Jollof War. So which country are you representing when it comes to Jollof? Come, let's cheer our countries on and celebrate Africa as well. This is GMB 2022. We are taking a break. When we come back, who wins what? Star performer, eloquent, and also best costume. Keep voting. We'll be back shortly. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So with all the noise, have you voted? Who is staying? Yeah. Who is staying? Yeah. Well, before we get to all of that, we've got our usual three for the night. Best costume, most eloquent, and star performer. So please settle down so we can get into that one quickly. Anita, you want to do the first one for us? Best costume? Yes, indeed. And best costume is probably brought to you by GTP at the Padumas and Gino. So judges. Which ladies had the best costumes tonight? And then we'll settle on one person. So who is doing us the honors, G body? Take it away. Ladies, well done. Please, let's clap for these ladies. Tonight they came. All of them, they brought the show on. Thank you. Like I said, we are in the final eight, so it gets tougher. Let's go. Best costume. Three ladies come out. First to come out, Essie Edouard. Second to come out, Haria. Third to come out, Aiko. And tonight, our best costume goes to Essie Edouard. Essie Edouard wins best costume. And to do us the honors, our guest judge for tonight, Professor will be doing us the honors. Professor Awomana. And Siedua will be getting GTP at the Pat Dumas. And also a package from Gino. Congratulations, Siedua. That's a big one for you. Congratulations, darling. Thank you so much, Prof. And that GTP for Siedua as well. Thank you, Doc. Prof, please hang on for us. Moving on to most eloquent, brought to you by Etel. 
to go me so reloaded geisha black so pepsodent and reg zona Gigi, you will do that one for us yes i will okay so most eloquent tonight was also very tough because tonight's performances were great we had um, four candidates uh, for the most eloquent and if they could come out in no particular order the first one was Asiedwa. The second is Na Ahima. The third is Aiko. And the fourth is Amwini. Tonight's eloquence, like I said, was very competitive. But one of the things that was very clear was the fact that there was a standout candidate. Can you guess who she is? All right, let's get this done. The most eloquent tonight is Aiko. Aiko wins most eloquent tonight. She's getting a package from Airtel Tigo to Gumiso Reloaded, Geisha Black Soap, Pepsodent, and Rexona. Airtel Tigo to Gumiso Reloaded, Geisha Black Soap, Pepsodent, and Rexona. Congratulations to you, Aiko. Prof, we are left with the last one for tonight. Anita, star yes, performer. Spooky. The big one. Judges. Uh, indeed, Bibi Besiankasa. Another history is going to be made tonight. Right? Right? Okay. So we have three outstanding performances tonight. We have Aiko. We have Amoeni. And we have Na Ahima. So tonight, uh, the winner, by far, by 46 points. Guess who? Aiko! And this is the second time she is winning two awards on the night. Wow. She's getting a package from Camel now from Carex. Techno come on 19 and GTP at Depa Dumas. For the second time, she's won two awards on the night. Wow, congratulations, Aiko. Well done. That package from Camel now from Carex. GTP at Depa Dumas and Techno, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Prof. We're grateful you did us the honors. But, okay, okay, okay. Faculty, faculty. It's okay. time to say goodbye. You know, Cookie, tonight, the moment I saw the list of uh, Ladies that are up for eviction, yeah. my heart sank. Yeah, and I've been shaking my head. If exactly. you are really attentive, you can see that I'm shaking my head. It vote means to that know. Uh, vote to no, 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 Messi, vote to no. Okay, young share, young share, young Okay, um, so eight ladies, who's going to go backstage first? All right, so from the results, of course, from your voting, which carries 60% and the judges of 40, I think it's safe to say that Aiko, you can go backstage. Aiko, go backstage. Um, Anita. Um, Haria, go backstage. Honam, 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 honam. 
our boxer, do you think that the guy you punched will be happy that you're staying in the competition? But of course, he will be happy because you're going backstage. All right, come Ready. forward, come forward. Come forward. And I think it's safe to say that the pride of the Northern region can go backstage. Taya. So, Cookie. Yeah. These ladies, Amweni, Esiedua, Nahima, Anafra, are our bottom four. And Nadia Miyemushina. Judges, it's about time that we save. How many should we save? All right, judges, over to you. I think we can save two. If you bless us enough, we can save three. So you let's know, start saving. Tonight uh, is, is a revelation that the yeah. power of the vote is really at yeah. play. Because left to us alone, it will not be these four. But the power of your votes have changed what we are seeing on stage. So ladies, know that you did your best. You need to drive the votes. Because at this stage, our decision is just 40%. The votes, 60%. So what we see there is the results and the culmination of our 40% and the 60 percent okay so you did very well but you know what eh? we were originally to send home two but we were so concerned that we are going to send him only one we are going to send home only one which means that next week we will send home two all right Okay, so, okay, so um, let's start saving. Let's, let's start save. saving. Yes, please. Now, what we asked um, the, the calculation to be done is to tally the points from day one. So we are going to save based on the tallying of the points from day one. All right. Okay. So we are saving a CEDUA. Second person that we are saving tonight is our Miss Eloquent Amweni. Now, me pamucho munti emi wai. Nahima, last week you were here. Afra, I don't think I've seen you here often. And the reason why one of you is saved, the difference in points is five points. Five points. And for these five points, I am sorry to say, sadly, that AFRA has to go home, Afra. Nahima, if you find yourself in the bottom again, it will not be good news. So unfortunately, we have to send Afra home. Afra, please go and shine your light bright. Don't be so downhearted. Afra, wow. So this is the end of the journey but it isn't the end of a beautiful one that you started right here there's so much you can do with this platform and we are super proud of you and as you're going home um claire lotion has a package for you as well as a box um of vitamilk as well congratulations dear it's a sad night but you've made your region proud a round of applause for afra <laughs> Kindly do us the honors. Um, let's give her her package. Haria. Afra, pull it together and let's try and do the presentation, okay? Afra.
Can we do that together? Let's do that presentation. Prof, thank you so much. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Too bad. Too bad, too bad. But this is the end of the road for Afra. When we say vote, make sure that you are voting and not only shouting. Please, star 713, star 13, add the name of your preferred contestant. But on Wednesday, Anita, Afro Connect is happening. Yeah, I mean, you can yep. all join us. It's proudly brought to you by 3FM 92.7. We're having some Jollof Wars, lots of games, and also you get to meet your favorite personalities from TV3 and also 3FM as well. Join us. It's happening from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Gold Coast restaurant. It's just across the road from TV3. Yeah. Cookie, this yeah. is where we draw it's the curtains. Real. Yeah, it's been very real. real. Next week, Sunday, we'll see you at 8 p.m. My name is Cookie, and I've been doing this with Anita Ekia. See you Ekuku. on Sunday. See you next week. Have a good Any night.